hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Benjamin and today I'm gonna be showing you four sick features that just came on to the iOS 18 and I'm just gonna you know walk you through because he has a lot of good features but this is the one personally that I like the most about the new iOS 18 probably better so without no more further ado let's get right into the video and if you're new to the channel please like the video if you like it and subscribe to help us more youtube allows so let's go straight to the video now as you can already see by my home page right you can see like this has like a like a dark mode on the icons and stuff the icons that come on the, on your stock iphone it comes with this beautiful and nice you know dark mode with the new ios 18 and when you install it i'm going to show you how to do this your regular you tap on it right and then on your edits up top now you can see it comes with add your widgets and customize right so if you press customize now it comes with this little nice so you can do it automatically you can do it back mode i have it if you put automatic it will go like straight into your normal regular like daily thing so depend on the time and weather you do your light and then you can do tinted so tinted will be based on sometimes it can even choose based on what you have here right so you can choose the colors based on the colors you have here so that will change based on that color or based on this color and it kind of looks good but for me it looks better just with the dark mode which have more like a clean look to it more than just the other tinted ones so let me know what you think down below this is uh, some cool new features as well let's get to the next one so the control center is also changed as you can see it has new this brand new like layouts the it comes like like um customizable so this you can move this stays here and as you have like your data your like airplane mode and everything i don't know why that is there you can still do it here which makes no sense but now you can hold down onto it right and then you have these little things so you can remove this, customize this, or make even like this smaller, make it like bigger as long as you hold and take the little sides and move it. You can like customize how big you want it or how small you want it. And it's pretty cool and nice. And based on that as well, now you can even, from your home page here, you can even customize this, right? So remember the touch lights and your camera. Now you can remove both of them if you want to and pull another one. But we've gotten used to it now. So what's the point of removing and putting other things? Some people might do, but you know, I'm just used to it now. So there's no point of removing it from here. But that's the new things on here. And I think that's pretty cool design on the new, you know, control sense now the next thing i'm going to show you is now you can lock and open apps right so let's say for example you can lock and hide app let's say you want to like lock pinterest or snapchat or whatever you just hold down onto it and then it comes to you as require face id so literally every time you come in you have to you know press the face id before you can do anything to it. so if you press face id it asks you hide and require face id or just require face id now if you press hide and require face id it will do your face id and then this will come on which it won't show on your app you just press hide and now the app is hidden you know so you know people that want to do some misleading mischievous things they can do that if they want to but you can see that now even if i search pinterest i can't find it anywhere it just gives you the google thing i can't find the app anywhere but where would the app be if you scroll down all the way down to your you know app drawers app libraries you can see that hidden is here so if you press onto it it will ask you for your face id or your password 
and then you can see the app literally there and if you open the app that's it the app will come on for you and then you can open it as usual but that's how you open and hide you know the apps and you can just put it back if you press don't require face id you just literally take it back to where it was and then you don't have to like be searching for it anymore so that's that's how you do it now the last cool thing i want to talk about is the simple and most fantastic calculator i know a lot of people who don't use the calculator or most people will use the calculator but i think now if you have a phone ai will do most of the things for you and i think this new calculator thing will change the game for a lot of students actually but the only thing you have to do is prove how you got into the answer of the question but now on the calculator you have this button here so if you press it you have between basic scientific which you have all your scientific causing and stuff and then you have your math notes right so what's the math notes math notes we create a new math so instead of writing your equation and stuff uh typing your equation we're gonna be writing it by hand right so whatever you write here is it will give you the answer to it so six times six when you put you put the equals it will literally see it came in quick in a clutch and it gives you the answer as quick as possible right now you can put any type of equation if you want let's do a more like complex equation let's do six divided by two parentheses one plus two equals nine now see that was quick and easy as possible however like you can do like big equation and it will literally give you the answer to the equation will it formulate it to you or will it will it show you how you got there no <laughs> but it will literally give you the answer and i think that is pretty cool now that's all for today that's all like the cool new features that you will find on your ios 18 or be coming to the public on the next you know iphone series and if you want to install it on your devices i have a video that you need to go and check it out and that's all for today like comment subscribe comment down below what you think about all these new features and your favorite features down below in the comment section and that's all for today until next time you beautiful people peace